Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. 1 Samuel 3, 9 You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Light for the Morning Path. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And keepeth them, he it is that be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. The Lord reigneth. Psalm 99 verse 1 Fear ye not me, saith the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. Though they roar, yet can they not pass over it. Promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He putteth down one, and setteth up another. He changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that he be not troubled. If God be for us, who can be against us? Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. The very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 Then shall the priest command to take for him that is to be cleansed, to demand that one of the birds be killed in an earthen vessel over running water. As for the living bird, he shall take it and the cedar wood and the scarlet and the hyssop, and shall dip them and the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. And he shall sprinkle upon him that is to be cleansed from the leprosy seven times, and shall pronounce him clean, and shall let the living bird loose into the open field. Behold a man full of leprosy, who seeing Jesus fell on his face and besought him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus, moved with compassion, put forth his hand and touched him and saith unto him, I will, be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed.
as we are going through uncertain times, never forget God's word. I will never leave you or forsake you. Hebrews 13, 5.